Hey guys, today I am filming my monthly makeup basket for December. This is the first month that I'll be using my winter makeup products and I am excited to start wearing something new. So I will start with my nail polishes. So I will start with what I'm wearing right now. This is Orly's Rage, which is a beautiful classic rose gold metallic polish. Then I have two from KL Polish. I have Aquarius, which is like a mauve tan, and then I have Lumiere, which is more of a true mauve purple color. I have my Christmas manicure, which will be Butter London Macbeth and OPI Glitzerland. I also have my New Year's Eve polish, which will be this gorgeous silver holographic polish from Color Club called Harp On It. So for brow products, I have two different teens that I'll be using, one for the work days, which is what I am wearing right now, and then one on days where I'm just filming on the weekend and I can have a more intense brow. So for the work brow, I will start with the NYX Eyebrow Shaper Wax Pencil. I am using two different brow pencils, the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade number two, and the Benefit Goof Proof Pencil in the shade number one. I'll be going over top of that with the Lorac Take a Brow Kit in the shade blonde, and I will set them in place with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. On days when I'm just filming, I am going to start using this full size of the Benefit Cabral Pomade in the shade number one, and then I'll be going over top of that with the Maybelline Brow Precise fiber volumizer in the shade blonde this is a product that I don't love with my pencils but I do like the way it looks when I put this over top of a brow pomade so that is how I'm going to use this up and that's gonna be that combination before we get into the rest of the makeup products I did want to let you know that I will be starting a new project pan in a couple weeks and I didn't want to spoil any of those products so some of these things will be changing for primer I'll be using the ordinary high adherent silicone primer all over and I will be filling in my pores with the cover effects and blurring primer for foundation I'll be using the Maybelline Superstay full coverage in the shade 110 porcelain for concealer on my blemishes, I'll be using Estee Lauder Double Wear in Extra Light. And for under eyes, I'll be mixing the Double Wear with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair. I'll be setting my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I'll be setting my face with the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. So moving on to cheek products, I currently have more than I usually do. I have a few more options for bronzer and highlighter that I want to test out, see what I think of them, see if I still want to keep them in my collection, and this would be the season that I would wear these products. So to bronze, I have Benefit Hula, which is one of my very first bronzers. I've used one up, repurchased it. This is a holy grail product for me, and it isn't too, too cool tone, which is why I can use it to bronze, but it is a really nice neutral undertone for the winter time. To contour, I have two different products. I have NYX Blush and Taupe, which is more of like that purpley gray. I'm wearing it today and it doesn't look too, too gray on me, which is good. And then to contour, I will also be using the Balm Take Home the Bronze bronzer in the shade Oscar or Oliver as it is now called. So this one looks warm especially compared to the NYX, but it doesn't show up warm on the skin. So I'm trying this as a contour during the winter, see what I think of this, or if maybe it would be better for the springtime. So I'm just testing it out to discover that. Then I do have three highlighters, as I said. The first one is from Becca. This is pearl. You can see I've painted it. This is a very shimmery white highlight. I'm actually wearing it today. I blended it out so it's not so intense. I think it looks very pretty. I also have the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Highlight and Glazed Donut. So this is also more of a white, but this does have more of a warm undertone where pearl is more of a true white. If you guys can see the difference there, both very beautiful and this swatch is more warm but it doesn't show up super warm on the skin it just looks icy so I do think it works well for winter and then I also have Ofra highlighter and pillow talk which looks terrifyingly pink in the pan but it is just like a very light icy pinky tone highlight on the skin that looks very very beautiful so those are the bronzer contours and highlighters I will be using this month and really for the rest of my months that I wear my winter makeup and then I have a bunch of blushes only one drugstore the rest are high-end my drugstore blush is elf berry mary one of the oldest blushes in my collection but it still performs well i absolutely love this shade it is so beautiful and i have always thought that this was a dupe for narsin but my friend lucy gifted narsin to me which looks like this 
These are actually pretty darn different. So you can see that the Elf has more red in it, where the NARS is more of a deep purpley color. Similar, but I would not even consider these to be dupes, but they look beautiful on the cheeks and I really love them both. They are really intense though, so I have to go in with a light hand. The same with this NARS blush in Outlaw, which is more of a burnt red color. Really, really beautiful. I do like this one on the cheeks, but again, that does show up to be very intense. I also have MAC Breath of Plum, the Balm in Stain Blush in Houndstooth, Clinique Cheek Pop Blush in Heather Pop, and my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. So now moving on to eye products. For primer, I'll be using this little deluxe sample of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. For liner, I am currently using two. I'm using this little mini of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, which isn't as pigmented and intensely black as I would like, so I'm going over top of it with what I have left of the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Liquid Liner. For mascara, I am using a combination of the Benefit Their Real Tinted Lash Primer, the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, and the Lancome Definicils Mascara. I will be pulling in different bases to use with my eye looks, but the main eye base I see myself using this month is the Mally Shadow Stick Extra in Autumn Shimmer which ends up pulling very taupey on me, so it works well with more cool toned eyeshadows. I've decided I'm not gonna pull in any other singles for this month except for the eyeshadows I'll be panning, and I'm just gonna focus on my two different palette of the month videos. In the fall time, I brought in other single shadows, but I didn't end up using them, so I figured, I'll just be realistic and I will show you the palettes that I will be reviewing. So the first one is what I'm wearing today. This is the Bad Habit Supernova palette, which is supposed to be a dupe of the Natasha Denona Lila palette. And the second palette I will be reviewing is the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight palette. So then we have my lip products. I have chosen seven items because I have so many lip products in that mauve tone category that I love so much in the winter time, so I want to try to use all of them if possible. Unfortunately, I won't be able to swatch anything today. I am literally about to run out the door to work right after I film this video, and I don't want to try to take the time to sit there and wipe off swatches, so please forgive me for that. If you guys are really wanting to see it, I can swatch them and post them on my Instagram stories. So the first lipstick I'll be using is the Maybelline Shine Compulsion Lipstick in Taupe Seduction. I'll be using the MAC Patent Polish Lip Pencil in Kittenish, which is more of that brighter rosy mauve. I have a ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Lady, which is more of a very, very deep brown tone red that I think looks absolutely stunning. And the last four lip products are all liquid lipsticks, so I have a dose of Color Stone, which is such a classic light cool tone mauve color. It doesn't pull too gray on me. I absolutely love that shade and formula. Then I have two from ColourPop. This is the Ultra Satin Lip from the Hello Kitty collection in Tiny Chum, which does deepen on me, and it's more of a purpley mauve color. And then we have the Ultra Matte Lip in Lumiere 2, which also darkens to be a very deep purpley mauve color. I absolutely love both of those shades. And lastly, I have the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Allison. It looks very different here than it shows up on my lips. On my lips, it looks like a red tan color. It's a kind of an odd combination. And depending on my makeup look, it can look really different. I'm not in love with this shade, but sometimes I do enjoy it. It just depends, but I would like to get some use out of it this month. So guys, that was my monthly makeup basket for December. I would love to know what products you plan on using this month, and I would love to know your thoughts on any of the items that I mentioned here today. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.